stretch your hands to the Lord tonight. Praise God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we say thank you tonight. Privilege and opportunity, God, to be on the premises, God, with the opportunity to stand on your promises tonight. God, your big day now have all been the best day, but it's a blessed day, God. Because you woke us up this morning, you started us on our way, and now, God, you're bringing us here so you can bless us here. We say, have your way, Lord, tonight in this place. Manifest your presence as you're manifesting and ministering your promises, God, that you will move, amen, to meet the needs of your people here, right now, beyond expectation and worldly limitation, God. Thank you for forgiveness of all sins tonight, God, the cleansing of all the tonight. The renewing by the Holy Spirit of our heart, spirit, minds, God. Amen. Restore, renewing, and revive right hearts, minds, and spirits. I mean, you tonight. Thank you for one another. Sisters and brothers can come from far and near to be here, united together, God, not just in friendship, but kinship, fellowship, as we worship you in spirit and in truth. Tonight, let your word go for God. Let your word accomplish your purpose. And do not let your word return back up to your boy right now. Thank you, God, for the angels you have given us, God, to protect us, God, to keep us, to cover us in this place, God. Thank you for the blood of Jesus, God. Amen. It's in your name we pray, we praise. Your name, amen. We prevail. The mighty bodies, magnificent, merciful, matchless, majestic name of Jesus, we pray tonight. The mighty name of Jesus, we praise tonight. And through the name of Jesus, we prevail tonight as well as every day tonight. Somebody want to say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
produce of that. Yeah. Yeah. God's going to 
don't think like us. Are you with me? He says, neither are your ways like my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. But look at this part, verse 10. Because as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, rain comes from heaven, snow comes from heaven, and when it comes down, it does not return back there. But it has a purpose, amen, when it comes. What does it do? It watereth the earth. Amen. And it watereth the earth so it can make the earth bring forth and bud. Amen. For the purpose of what? Giving seed to the sower and giving bread to the eater. Are y'all there? Amen. He says, well, and likewise, or so shall my word be that goeth forth. It will come down. It will come out of my mouth. But it will not what? Return unto me void which out accomplishing its purpose. Are y'all with me? Hallelujah. Amen. But it will accomplish that which I please, what I spoke it to, what I sent it to, and it shall what? Prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Amen. So likened to rain and snow, the purpose of it falling, amen, to water and saturate the earth so that the earth can bring forth and produce. And he says, for the purpose of what? That, amen, those who sow will have some seed, and those, amen, who will eat, amen, will have some bread. He says his word is going to be just like that, amen. So if his word is just like that, what is God? Doing in and through his word. But if it's like the rain and, and the snow, and then his purpose is to give seed to a soul. Amen. If it's just like that, am I right? Amen. And not just seed to the sower, but to give bread to the eater. Amen. Amen. It has to give seed to the sower because if his word doesn't give seed to the sower, when I come down here, I might have some good stories to tell you, but I don't have no God word to give you. Amen. 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 So I need a word to be able to sow, are y'all with me? Because there's somebody who wants to eat of the word or reap from the word. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. So he will give his word so that one can speak it and the other can do what? Reap it. Are y'all still with me? Which means that, amen, what God speaks, God looks to reap. He says, I'm not going to speak my word just to speak my word. I'm going to speak my word that it will go forth and accomplish his purpose and not come back to me, boy. So when God speaks his word, he's looking to reap something from his word. Right. Are y'all with me? Amen. amen. Yeah, God looks to reap whatever he speaks. Amen. amen. So, amen. If he's speaking blessings in your life, he looks to reap, amen, the blessings in your life. If he's speaking whatever into your life, joy and Turn on it, break through it, and it change, amen. He's looking to what? Reap what he so, so. speaks. Are y'all still there? Amen. And so if God is speaking and reaping, when I say reaping, getting results from his word, then you and I need to be doing what? We need to be doing the same thing, amen. amen. If God speaks the word to reap results from the word, you and I need to what? Speak the word so that we can what? Reap the results from the word. Amen. But you can't speak no word out of you that ain't been spoken into you. Amen. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. But if it's been spoken into you, then guess what you have the ability to do? You have the ability to speak it out of you, but you know, right. the word that you speak out is the word that's going to go out and come back with what you spoke. Amen. amen. Come on, amen. Say only speak what you want to read, amen. Come on, amen. amen. What you only want to be? Because you're going to reap what you speak. What you speak, amen. Right. amen. So if you keep talking about being bad, and maybe you wonder why bad keeps coming your way. All right. Amen. If you keep talking about being broken, you wonder why when you look at your person and your wife, are you not as great, amen? Amen. 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 We ought to reap, amen, what we're speaking. Amen. But then when we speak what God is speaking, we're saying what he is 
brings us what? That brings us into agreement with God. Yeah. Yeah. See, when he starts out up here, when we started reading, he said we're not in agreement because we're not thinking like he's thinking. Okay. Amen. And we, amen, we're not, amen, not just thinking what he's thinking. Our ways are not like his ways. Yeah. But somewhere we have to come in agreement. That's right. And how we come in agreement with God? We come in agreement with God through and by his what? Word? Word. Because God's not going to do anything outside, outline of his word. Amen. That's right. Pastor Green says around here, if you want God to bless what you're doing, you got to be doing what God bless you. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. See, you got to come in what? Come on, tell you, you got to come on in agreement. In fact, uh, uh, you don't have to look at Isaiah 43, uh, I believe it is, verse 26. He says, what I want you to do, I want you to put me in remembrance All of right, what I've spoken to you. Say it. Say it. Yes, Amen. He says, I want you to put me in what? Remembrance. Remind me of my promises. Yeah. Remind me, and don't just remind me, plead them, he says. Yeah. Declare them. Why do I need God? Why do I need to put you in remembrance? And declare a reminder of what you spoke to me. Are you like some of these folks who go a little see now now? Yes. Amen. Are you kind of suffering, amen, from amnesia, amen, or what's up with Alzheimer's, amen? Yeah. Sometimes. Have you gone into dementia, God, where you have forgot a few things? Are y'all with me? Right. Or are you like some of these folks who have told me some things and promised me some things and they're acting like they forgot about those things because now it's Amen. Amen. 
shine. Now, I'm not saying run all of them, amen, at one time, but they ought to come on when you hit the switch. Amen. Amen. Your water ought to come out the spot when you cut it over. That's right. That's and if you cut the one on that say H, it ought to heat up because the gas is flowing. Okay. Amen. But still, what? Amen. Taking God in His word. Trust me, because what does that do? That opens up all the promises of God to you. Amen. 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 And promises being made available, you know what that does? It gives us the privilege, the privilege, the privilege to believe God. Amen. Amen. I think I said this a couple weeks ago. God don't owe none of us nothing. Amen. And if He does do anything, it's a blessed privilege. Yes, it is. Because yes. he had to wake you up this morning. All right. That's it. And when he woke us up, guess what? We didn't earn it. We didn't deserve it. We didn't have enough money to pay for it. Right. So it was a privilege. It's a blessing. Yes. And if you get in trouble, amen, it's a privilege to believe God to get you out of trouble. Amen. That's right. That's right. Your back against the wall. It's a privilege to believe God to get your back off the wall. Amen. Come on, you between a rock and a hard place. It is a privilege because God don't have to get you from between that. It's a privilege for to believe God and His promises. Amen. Amen. Uh, Y'all know because uh, 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 we talk about it, and many of y'all experience this. Uh, the guy who plays a uh, basketball player is Chris Paul. Last couple of Christmases, his family has called Pastor Green up. One Christmas, they said, Pastor Green, we want to give some people in your congregation, some folk you may know, we'll give them food one year. Yeah. This past year, they called back up, amen. And they said, this year, we want to be a blessing to the children. Do you have some kids My in the God. congregation? We're going to give them a $100 gift card. They can come to Toys R Us and go shopping for Christmas. Praise and buy themselves some toys or whatever they want to buy. Praise okay. the Lord. Amen. And look at this. When they called me up and told me, you know what I did? I took them at their word. Amen. But That's I right. knew when I was able to go where they were and give my name and they let me in the door, I hadn't earned and deserved. But coming in that door was what? It was a privilege, amen. Are y'all with me, amen? Yeah. Because, yeah. amen, I can't just come up and say, well, I want some food, let me in, amen. No, if they invite you to come in, okay. are y'all with me, amen? No, my child needs some toys this Christmas. Did they invite you to come in and get some toys for your child? So when they gave me the word, I took them at their word. I told some of y'all, and y'all showed up and for the food, amen. And I ain't going to go that way tonight, amen. But for some of y'all, And they honored the word, but it was a privilege. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. And I'm just going to go halfway there. When you have the privilege to believe somebody who's made you a promise or something that's going to benefit you, believe. you can't misuse that privilege. You can't abuse that privilege because you might lose that. Are y'all with me? See, everybody can say, well, I believe this law is going to help me out this Christmas yeah. and they help somebody else out right. because they may not have no number like they have mine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You see? Preach. Once again, it's a what? It's a privilege. And when the privilege is made and you take them at their word, then it makes what they promised you Amen. possible. That's right. Now, if that can happen with us down here in the natural yeah. Just think what takes place when we take God at his word and his super. Hallelujah. 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 So it's a privilege because you need healing tonight. That's going to have to come from the supernatural. Amen. Amen. The breakthrough, you need the breakthrough for you tonight. You know what? That got to come from the supernatural. That's right. Come on, to turn around like you needed to turn around. Uh -huh. you, can't have, you, can't, you really don't need a natural turn around right now. You need a supernatural. Supernatural. Turn around right now. Y'all with me. And taking God believing God, amen, and taking advantage of that opportunity of that privilege, it makes not some things possible for you. It makes what? All things possible. If you what? Believe. If you believe. Preach it out, Reverend Green. See, I, 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 I see and, and I feel some kind of mixed reaction. Amen. When, when, when you talk about and bring up uh, touching other folks' lives. Yes. You know, I see mixed reactions, see different faces. You right. know, I think we would be excited about touching other folk because we know if we touch others for God, God will touch us. Amen. Amen. If we speak to others about God, God will speak to other folk Amen. about us. Right. And Great. some of us need God.
God to talk to a few folks. Yes, we do. Right. Yes, we do. Yes. Like doctors and like creditors and like a whole lot of other folk. Amen. We need God to speak. Amen. To we need it. And so sometimes, like I say, some people, they don't want to talk to nobody, touch nobody, kill nobody, nothing. Are y'all with me? Amen. But how many of us, and, and you don't have to raise your hand, but we really are believing God that we'll be able to touch at least five folk this year. Amen. 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 Whether we know them or don't know them. Amen. Like I said, it may happen in an unusual way. You may be in a line at the market and somebody is having a problem, but a word that God has spoken to you about your problem, you can speak that word to them about. All right. Say it. Hey Amen. I was at a doctor's office yesterday and praise God, I wasn't there to see a doctor. I was there to take somebody else to the doctor. Yeah. But while I am sitting there, because it's a cardiologist's office, I, I guess everybody come in and got something going on with their heart. Amen. But while I'm sitting there, another lady sits down next to me and everything else, and, and I'm able to share with her about my friend in there. And then when I tell him, because he's a pastor too, amen, we minister, but we believe in God, amen. We just believe in God for him right now. Not that I get you. What's your name? Mary? Mary, I believe in God for you right now. Man. I 
just got caught up. Are y'all with me? All of that. Amen. And, and the children of Israel, like, you know, they forsaken the covenant, thrown down the altar, and slain all the prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Yeah. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. Amen. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains like a tornado, hurricane hit the mountain, mm -hmm. and broke it into pieces. All the rocks broke up before the Lord. But you know what? The Lord wasn't in that strong wind. Okay. All right, then. After that happened, the wind, the earthquake came. Everything started shaking and quaking. Yes. But guess what? Uh, the Lord wasn't in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire started burning. Yes. But the Lord was not in the fire. Right. But after the tornado, after the earthquake, after the fire, amen, there was a still, small voice or a gentle whisper. All right. And it was so when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle, went out and stood in the entering of in the cave, and behold, there came a voice unto him once again. Elijah, what are you doing? He said, I was very jealous, zealous for the Lord of hosts. And when I just said the children of Israel forsook the covenant and threw down the altars and killed the prophets with the sword, and I'm the only one left. And the Lord said to him, Go return. On thy way to the wilderness of Damascus, when thou comest, anoint Hazel to be king over, over, over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elijah, the son of Shaphat, uh, of Ebelon. Am I saying that right, Jane? I'll tell you that because you always help me with these yeah. big words. Yeah. Uh, the Lord shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room, and it shall come to pass that him that escapeth, amen. You play with these iPads and they just flip on their own, amen. But uh, uh, him that uh, 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 has that, him that escaped from the sport of Hazel shall Jehu slay, and him that escaped from the sport of Jehu shall Elijah slay. Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. He said, You send them and look at Amen. Like you out there by yourself all alone and you, amen, ain't got no help at all. Let me give you a word what to do. Go anoint this one to be king over here. Go anoint that one to be king over there. And then anoint yourself to be king here. And then you know what? That one over here when you scared of, gonna kill that one over there when you scared of. And that one you scared over there. I'm gonna anoint you to take him out. Are y'all with me? But know this, amen. You ain't the only one. I got 7,000 just waiting for me to give my word and from them living dispatches. Well, what I'm saying, amen, when did all that happen, amen, because during all this time, all, amen, they got that, uh, Elijah all that excited, scared, afraid, and terrified, amen, God, amen, is speaking to him in what? A still small voice. A gentle whisper. And how many of us ever get into a situation like that where life becomes chaotic, where life becomes confusing and life is controversial. Yeah. I'm saying there is so much going on around us. Oh, right. Amen. Right. And while all this stuff, every day we see on the news is going on around yeah. us. Every day we hear on the TV going on yeah. around yeah. us. Yeah. Every day we hear at the water cooler going on around us. You know what God is doing? Mm -hmm. Speaking gently and softly. But for me to hear that voice, I got to be in a position and place to hear that voice. And how many of us in our chaotic, controversial, confusion lives make time and take time to hear what God's got to say? Because I'm going to help you. It'll cool your, it'll calm your nerves better than them pills, better than that drink, better than that smoke, better than laying on somebody else's couch. Right. 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 Yes, I'm for what are you dealing with? Because it's coming from the left to right. It's staring you in the face and front of you. It's all behind you and everywhere else. You know how I deal with it? I make that time to hear what God's got to say about it. Yes. Because yes. if I don't hear what God's got to say about it, I'm scared to come to Bible class today. Okay. Amen. I'm fearful and worried and afraid of that. What happened to them others? Oh, that might happen to us. I ain't going to happen to us. See, that's why I don't come out now. But I don't even see my life if I don't come out. Can you hear what God? Are y'all still here? Amen. 
But there are sometimes God does not use a still small voice. Yes. There's sometimes that God really does shout and scream at us. Okay. Amen. And you know when he does that? It's when we mess up and make mistakes. Amen. When we fail and, and, and we are, we're, we're in faults and flaws, God starts screaming at us. When we're going through pain and when we're going through problems, he is no longer whispering. He is hollering, screaming with a sacred shout. And you know, he says to us, amen, when we have fallen, when we have failed, when we have messed up and made mistakes, when we're in pain and problems, do you know what God is screaming at us, amen? You know, he's screaming, you know, he's screaming, he's screaming, trust me! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You done messed up, now you gotta trust me. Oh, yes, Lord. You done failed, amen, now you gotta trust me. Yes, Lord. Come on here, amen, don't take your life, amen, don't sit up in depression, don't get disappointed, all y'all, y'all with me? You know what, amen, it doesn't happen, amen, and maybe you can't get yourself out of it, but if you trust me, I'll help you get back up on your feet, I'll help you straighten it all out, in fact, come on, we're gonna put it back together, baby, won't we? Yes. And y'all looking at me kind of funny, but how many times can you look in the Word, amen, and, and, and God, amen, is people's mess and turn it into a message, amen. Yes. Come on, y'all, ain't with me, amen. Oh, amen, he done took their test and turned it into a testimony. How many times we can see people in the Word, amen, they were in a mess, but after God finished, amen, they didn't have a mess no more, now they had a message, are y'all with me? Yes. What I'm saying, amen, our greatest pain, amen, they turn into our greatest purpose, amen. Yes. Come on, the greatest obstacles we're dealing with right now will turn into giving us the greatest opportunities we can have right here, right, right. now. What, I, what I'm saying, amen, God can take all your troubles, all your tragedies, all your faults, and all your flaws, amen, and you know what he can do? He can straighten it out. Amen. And that's why he tells us, trust him, trust him, trust me, trust him. Amen. Don't give up on me now, because life, okay, man, they would come to church when they get in trouble. Amen. And then you call them on the phone. How you doing, baby? Well, you know, Pastor, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but when I straighten it out, I'll be back. Yeah. I said, baby, you ain't got to come back if you can straighten it out on your own. All right. I said, that's why most Breach. of us have to come down here because we got some trouble. We can't straighten it. Because if you can fix it by yourself, you don't need God to fix nothing in your life. Amen. And you can work stuff out on your own. Talk to me, somebody. You don't need God. No, not at all. And many times we don't see them folk no more. You know why? Not because they fixed it, because it got worse. Yeah. All right. Amen. Talk to somebody. Amen. And now they fully just too ashamed to come back now because, amen, they didn't get better. It got worse. God, how he speaks. Sometimes he is in that still small voice. Sometimes he has to use that shout voice. Straighten it out. Are y'all with me? Amen. Thirdly, amen, he will speak through what I want to call a holy disturbance. A holy one. What is that? Something that you just didn't want to happen, but for whatever reason, God made it happen. Like the stuff last week? Yes. All right. Where was God at? Yeah. I guess he was in the same place when heaven was killing all, all the right. Jews. Where was God at? I guess when all them uh, English folk came over here and was killing them Indians to take this land. Yes. Well, I, I guess he was still in the same place when, amen, us amen. black folk were over here. They were doing what they were doing back then. Did like they do. I think he was in the same, same place. Same place. Are y'all still there? Amen. amen. But I was preaching a sermon a couple of weeks ago. In fact, the week before last that was leading us into that week. And what did that word God give us say? There's going to be victory after this. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. And, and, and I don't know if we've experienced some personal this is in our life, but we experienced a, 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 man, a, a worldly this when we saw what happened over there in South Carolina. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But God being true to his word, there is victory after this because now after this, amen, people are standing with one another. Yes. Supporting one another. Yes. Praying with one another. Yes. Working with one another. Are y'all yes. still with me? Yes. Come on here, amen. People, amen, things uh, 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 that have been tolerated. Now folks are joining together and saying, we're not going to tolerate now. Amen. You know, the Confederate flag that's been flying up. People now, not just black folks saying they got to come down. You got white folks saying they got to come down. All right. Amen. Amen. But it took what? It took a disturbance. For something that we should normally naturally do, to 
now call us to do it. My God. Are y'all still there? My God. And so why would God, I don't know why he would permit it, but if I could think for him, and, and I can't always speak for him on things like this, but I believe God lets these, what I call to get holy disturbances happen in our lives, not just publicly, but sometimes individually, because you and I, at times in life, we need to be pushed out of our comfort zone All right. into All our right. calling zone. All right. Amen. Amen. And we need to speak. I like your spirit. Amen. Like Amen. Amen. No, I've been praying for folk like that to come in here. You know, Amen. Like Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 But a lot of us, we're just being in our comfort zone. Amen. And we ain't even thinking about fulfilling our calling. That's right. And ain't it something how God would let a disturbance happen? To push us into what he yes. has called us. Yes. Called us to get along with one another. Yes. Called us to stand with one another. Called us to pray with one another. Are y'all still with me? Amen. Amen. It's something we should normally naturally be doing. It takes some kind of tragedy and trouble yes. that push us into it. Yes. Amen. 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 Wow. But God is speaking. And the still small voice. God is speaking when he shouts about trust in me. God is speaking even through the disturbances. Amen. Why? Because a lot of people, amen, are hurting now. You got a lot of broken folk right now. Yes. You got a whole bunch of disappointed, yes. depressed, yes. amen, down folk right now. And people need people like you and I to come out of our comfort zone. Yes. Because he done gave seed to the summer. Yes. That we can give some bread to the you, know. you can't just always come up in the house of God just wanting to be an eater, amen. That's right. That's right. right. Give me, give me, give me. Let me get it, get it. Come on, come on here, y'all. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All, amen. We gotta amen. run here because now I'm ready. I need a blessing. I need a turn. I need yeah. a breakthrough. You're right. And many of us, that's why we get caught up in all the chaos and confusion yes. and can't hear God. Because the only four people we thinking about is me, my, I, and myself. Them four and no one. All right. Now God needs folks like you and I to get out of our comfort zone. Amen. Yes. Amen. Woman, well, I talked to you yesterday, man, and she was a white woman. All right. Amen. And when she sat down, you know, I know she put her purse on the other side, like, you know, girl. All right. Tell the truth. Yes. Safety zone. Yes. <laughs> but let me let you know, Mary, why God had ordained, even before he created the heavens and the earth, that on this day at this time, I would be sitting here and you would come and sit next okay. to me. Not for you to be intimidated because I'm a black man, but for you to be a man, to be a man. Impact because I'm a spiritual. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak the word. And I could have just mind my own business. Yes. I could have let the enemy whisper me, ain't nothing but another old prejudice white woman. Right, right. I'll wait for my friend. <laughs> right, right. No. You heard the Holy Ghost. I don't know. She might have been. That is the end of the, whatever else when you start going through all these things. And at that moment in time, she just needed a word to be spoken in her life. Amen. Mama, Amen. God's going to fix this for you, Mary. Yes. And I'm going to believe God for you just like I'm going to believe for my life. Amen. Up in there. Are y'all with me? And once again, Amen. here's the card. You know, you ain't got to call me, but uh, if you, when it happens, because I believe God, it's going to happen for you. All right. Amen. I wouldn't ask God to do nothing I don't think he would do. That's right. If That's I asked him to do something, I believe he's going to do it. Amen. 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 And I was believers to speak word to her life from something God had already spoken to my life. Amen. Amen. Which puts me in a position now, not just to be, be a blessing, and I'm in a position now to receive a blessing. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he was saying, Pastor Green, how much? You gonna charge me and you drive my sister? I said, you remember when we moved in here? You cooked that cake. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we'll eat some cake after all this. All right. But her sweet, nice self, she came over there and there with an envelope with a check in it. Praise the Lord. On the inside, amen. It said, your cake will be coming after this. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Baby, you know I'm going to come out unless it's $300. Okay, it's right. we'll go to a yeah. church I pastor. Yeah. 
yeah. for existing. Mm -hmm. I said no. That's right. I would blow your mind and tell you what she wrote on that check, but then Mother Green would know she might need a little long for this. <laughs> <laughs> But on serious as I close, this is God mm -hmm. speaks to us. God should also be able to speak through us. Yes. Into yes. the lives of people who need to hear still yes. small voice in the midst of chaos and confusion they're going through. <coughs> and to the lives of people who need that shout to say, you just need to trust God right now. Amen. When their world is falling apart Amen. and they don't know how it's going to come back together and how they're going to get through this and everything else, you just got to grab them and say, baby, you got to trust God right now. Yes. 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 And then when things Amen. have interrupted their life and disturbed their lives, come on here. God may be calling you into something. That's right. That's right. To do something from this. Yes. Like I said, some people go through hurts and tragedies, and now through what hurt them, they able to help other folks. Yeah, exactly. All right. And what caused a mess in their life, now they able to minister something in other folks. Amen. Man, some people come out of bitter marriages and bitter relationships, and now they able to minister to folks who are going through that kind of bitter stuff, right? Amen. Because how many of y'all know God just don't bring you out of the thing just to bring you out of the thing? Right. He will bring you out because somebody else might come down that road and need you to help. So what did Isaiah say? He is not just giving bread to the eater. Mm -hmm. Through his word, he's going to give seed mm -hmm. to the sower. Right. And just like you can reap from the seed, mm -hmm. you're able even to speak and sow that. Yes. In Jesus' name. God, we thank you. Amen. Amen. God, a word that you don't just minister to us, but a word I know you want to minister through us, God. Yes. Because, God, when you speak that word into our lives, God, you not only want to speak it into our lives, you want to speak it out of our lives. Yes, sir. We are the one who bring hope to this hopeless world. Yes, Lord. We're the ones, God, who are able to be help in a helpless world. We are the ones, amen, that can edify, encourage, enlighten, and exhort like you edified, encouraged, enlightened, and exhorted us at the night. So tonight, my prayer, God, is that people of God, the church, amen, that which, God, we pray and ask for you to do to us, we're even open, willing, wanting, and waiting for you to do it through us. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for this thank tonight. You. Thank you, Lord. In fact, we're blessing you back because you blessed us first, God. You have yes. blessed us yes. in this world. Jesus' name, we pray. Our heads are bowed, eyes closed, saints are praying. In case one or some in the house do not have a right relationship with the Lord. Amen. As your Lord and your personal Savior. You can get right with God. You can get right, right here, right now. No matter who you are, where you come from, all that anything, all that anything that you've done, He receives it just as we are. He knocks at the door of your heart, my heart, our heart. When we open up our heart, amen, he won't just come in today. He'll come in this way. And if we ask him to, amen, he will be our Lord. He will be our Savior. He will be our God. That God that's able to guide and provide. That God that's able to direct and protect. Amen. That God, amen, that's able to deliver. That God that's able to and not just right now, but from now on, throughout all eternity. A God that can save you from any and all earthly hell you can go through, yes. and can save you from a amen hell that after earth you can go to. Yes. And just simply by asking. Not working to achieve, not paying to receive, just asking. Tonight, if you never received. By the time this is aired on the internet and you're watching and you don't even know the Lord right where you are. Amen. On your lunch break, sitting at your computer at home, in your yard, amen, wherever you're watching, you can ask him to come into your life right now. Yeah. Or forgive you of all your sins, cleanse you, renew you. Amen. That you would be born again, not just give you a new heart, he'll give you a new start. Second invitation, not
kind of just want something and I can say connected to the Lord's church. Being committed and connected to the Lord's church is a little bit more than just coming to the Lord's church. Okay. Amen. A lot of folks just come, amen, but they never commit to connect. And, and that would be like going to the gym, amen, and never working out and exercise and wondering, amen, why you're not getting in shape because you just come to the gym, you know, commit to connect to what they do at the gym. Amen. That would be just like just, just coming to school, amen, and you never, all, all, unless you all open the book, you don't even bring the book to class, amen. You don't never, amen, write down the lessons and the assignments, and you wonder why, amen, you don't graduate, or you don't get educated, amen, because you're just coming and you don't commit and connect to what they're doing. And so for God's benefit better and bless our life, we can't just come to church, we got to commit and connect to what God is saying and doing in that church. So tonight, amen, if you don't have a church home, then God leads you, because if you're asking that, he'll tell you where you want you to be. Amen. He'll lead you to that place. And then thirdly tonight, amen, third invitation. When you hear this word, God speaks unto us in and of and by ourselves. Naturally, we can't go. Amen. When God is talking about trusting him, amen, what he is saying, he says, I know you can't accomplish it on your own. You got to trust me. And if you trust me, I'll help you. I'll help you achieve what you can't achieve. I'll help you accomplish what you can. I'll help you do what you can't do. I will help you, amen, to be what you can't be on your own. God's calling you to be a certain person right now. A certain man, a certain woman. Not the deal, but amen. And to be that person, to be that man, to be that kind of woman, guess what? You're going to be God in your
And then Cameron stretch out and hold Alice and Alice take care of his hands.